Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Surfshark's Surf Sharks One Plus package. So basically, what is this package? Well, let's go ahead and look on the website. It's basically a package where you could get Surfshark bundled in with a wide variety of different products. So in this video, we're gonna be deciding if it's really worth it or not, how it stacks up against other competitors that do similar packages, stuff like Proton and stuff like NordVPN are some of the more popular options. So in this video, we're gonna be discussing it. I'm gonna be putting an affiliate link in the description down below. But just to be sure guys, this video is not sponsored by Surfshark. I will have criticism for them as a product and as a company. This channel does not accept any forms of sponsorships. And in fact, I'm one of the only YouTubers out there does not have any ads on any of my videos because I review products that block ads like VPNs have ad blockers. Why would I put ads on my videos? Anyone who does that is a hypocrite in my opinion. So guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So Surfshark One, what does it get you exactly? Well, it gets you, well, One Plus. I think they could kind of rename that. First criticism, they might need a better naming scheme. If it was up to me, I would call it Surfshark, maybe um, Surfshark Pro, and then Surfshark Ultimate. Something simple like that lets the customer know exactly what they're buying and which kind of model is up their alley in terms of budget, not only just features. I think Surfshark One Plus is just kind of confusing. Um, to differentiate between Surfshark 1. Surfshark Starter also doesn't really sound that appealing. Um, so with both Surfshark 1 and 1 Plus, you do get virus pro antivirus protection. So this is pretty good. It is based on Avira antivirus. And if you look up that um, antivirus, it does get pretty good scores, being able to root out all the pretty much major vulnerabilities and stuff like that. So overall, it's not a bad value proposition. The cool thing about um, this one is that the antivirus is, I, I do like the kind of the, the ease of use of it. Um, it's really quite simple. Um, all you really need to do is kind of set it as your default um, antivirus thing. I'm installing Surfshark antivirus to show you what it looks like when installing it too. Um, so we have it right here. And the cool thing about Surfshark Antivirus is that it's kind of built into the VPN. I really like how you don't have to have another app running on your computer. It's just integrated into Surfshark pretty well. Um, the interface is very, very simple. There's not really much to it. You just kind of scan and set up scans and things like that. And it'll scan your computer just to make sure everything's going good. Um, it'll set it for default. Every uh, the, It auto updates for um, virus data spaces, there's real-time protections, uh, downloading scan files, and like I said, scheduled scans and manual scans as well. So when that's done downloading and installing, we'll show you that very soon. So let's go ahead and go back and see what else you get with both of these products. Well, Surfshark One Plus and One also include identity protection features. Um, so basically these are kind of smaller things. They're just like ways to anonymize yourself online better. Um, basically you could create a safe email address um, it will kind of create an anonymous email address and then you could kind of get things forwarded and not have to get spam in your real email address, which is a pretty cool feature. Another thing you can do is create an online alias. So this is very useful for signing up for websites and registrations. You could do this yourself by just making up stuff, but having it do this very easily and quickly is a pretty cool thing. And I haven't really seen it offered that much before. Also, you also get uh, kind of sourced information from Hi, Have I Been Pwned integrated within Surfshark. Um, it will let you know if there's been any data breaches. Um, you also get some credit card and ID alerts. So that's something if you're interested in and data breach alerts too. So there you go. All right, guys. So I will show you some of the extra things you do get. Uh, for example, this is the kind of component here. You get something called alternative ID. Now this is included with one and one plus. This is what I was talking about. You could create your alternate persona. You can also copy down the details, which is kind of cool. So this could create a consistent alternate persona you can use. The cool thing is, is that you can even regenerate it, pick specific categorization and stuff like this. There are websites that can do this for you, but this is probably one of the better interfaces I've seen. And at least the page isn't loaded with invasive ads and stuff like that. Also, we have Surfshark's func uh, search functionality, which you can kind of bookmark and use as a private search engine. Um, there are some alternatives like DuckDuckGo and stuff like that, but this one isn't bad to use. Additionally, we also have the alert function, which does kind of kind of have a fusion of hide my pwn. So you could enter in your email address to let you know if there's been any data breaches, enter in some credit card information to scan the internet to see if anyone is using that maliciously. You can also do that with your social security number and ID. And you can also go to the search, uh, well, not the search function, uh, but the alternative ID section. 
and you can go to the alternative email. So this is pretty cool. You create a alternative email that will forward it. So let's say you have a Gmail address or maybe a private email address. Um, you don't want tons of spam. So you can make this one for that, get those emails, and then I do believe you can close it um, and then you won't get those emails anymore. So that is pretty cool, uh, pretty simple to use. Now we have the scan set up and I'll show you what it looks like. It has a pretty cool interface here and it's kind of scanning very futuristically and it will go. This is just a quick scan and it goes pretty quickly. Um, but lastly, the one thing you do get with Surfshark 1 Plus, you don't get with Surfshark 1. Uh, keep in mind the regular plan does not include antivirus or any of these extra features. You do get Incogni. Now Incogni is actually one of my favorite services. It's a pretty cool service that will basically remove your inf real life information from data brokers. Now if you guys weren't aware, websites like White Pages host your real life address and it's very easy for people to find. Um, unfortunately, that is the case. That is the reality we live in. But services like Incogni, what they do is they make it so it's much, much easier to remove your information from websites just like those. Um, you could go to these websites manually and request the information to be removed, but there's hundreds of them out there. And I do believe Surfshark removes uh, anywhere from, I think, like 140 to 160 different websites, removes your information from them. So yeah, it will save you a lot of time and it's not very expensive either. In fact, in comparison to some of the other services out there that compare stuff like Delete Me and some of those other ones I've reviewed as well and compared them to Surfshark's one, Incogni, Incogni is much cheaper. Delete Me is around 100 plus a year, which is much more expensive than $78 here. And it's $13 a month if you want to go for it um, singularly. You can also just sign up for Incogni if you want as a service by itself. And I've recommended people to do that on the channel if you don't like Surfshark's other products. But if we're looking at the value proposition here, how good of a deal is it? Well, let's say you get Surfshark 1 Plus for one month. It's going to be around $23. Let's say Surfshark's around $13. You're going to be paying uh, kind of 10 extra dollars a month for antivirus and Incogni. Um, overall, Incogni would be... If you got Incogni and Surfshark, it would be around $24. But the fact you get antivirus too, I would say that would be more around $30. So you could be saving around $6 to $10 a month since antivirus is built in. However, the longest term deals you probably are going to want to get are the 24 months because it's the best deal. The longer you subscribe, the more you save, which is good. Um, so it's going to be $155 for 24 months, which is a pretty good deal uh, for what you get, including Incogni. Now, two years of Incogni would be around $160. So basically with this plan alone, you're pretty much getting VPN and antivirus for free, which is very nice. Um, kind of a standard price for two years. I'm looking for anywhere between $100 to $120 for two years, and then three years of VPN. Um, you know, we'd like to see not too much more after that since we like to see a little bit more incentives. There are more, there are some VPNs that are more expensive than this. iVPN, I believe is 200 plus a year uh, for long-term subscription plans. Let's go ahead and check that just to show you kind of a comparison of, you know, if, if this is a good deal or not in terms of the plain VPN. Um, so you could see a VPN like iVPN is $160 for two years. So $160 for two years, you could get iVPN or you could get Surfshark One Plus for cheaper, and it includes antivirus and incogni and all these little extra features that are pretty useful. So that's something to think about. Um, we can also take a look at some of the other v VPNs that have similar kind of schemes and pricing plans. Um, we could take a look at Proton. Now, what does Proton include? Well, Proton includes um, their Proton Unlimited plan. It's going to be around $13 a month. Let's go ahead and translate this to USD for me. $13 a month. So it's going to be a pretty good deal for one month. I actually think it's a nice deal uh, for one month. Proton's one month plan, everything included, VPN, calendar, mail, drive, and pass is a pretty good deal. However, that said, longer term Proton Unlimited does get much more expensive. It's going to be around two, uh, $192 for two years. Um, so I would definitely say Surfshark is a better deal longer term. Proton, for what it is, is a pretty good deal short term though. That said, they are kind of different products. Uh, this one doesn't offer some of the same features Surfshark does. Proton offers some that Surfshark doesn't. Um, personally for me, I find that Incogni's features like Incogni, um, Surfshark's Incogni feature right here bundled in is more useful because Surfshark or Proton doesn't really offer something like that. Um, additionally, some of the other things that Proton offers like 
drive support, mail, and some of the stuff. You don't really need too much. Bitwarden is free. There's a lot of drive alternatives. Filing and those kind of things work pretty well. Um, so a lot of these value propositions here, you could kind of use um, free services that are pretty privacy friendly out there. You just have to look around for them if you don't want to be in the ecosystem. We could take a look at NordVPN. It's actually a sister company of Surfshark. They're owned by the same people, I do believe. If we take a look at them, they have $160 for two years. Now this does include drive support, so you could store stuff online, data breach scanner, and it includes some file encryption. I do believe you can uh, get a password manager here. Yes, here it is, password manager. So Nord offers a little bit different products from Surfshark. You got the password manager, drive storage, file encryption, and some data breach scanning. And then Surfshark offers slightly different ones with data removal and some of these more anonymous features and antivirus. Um, I don't think that Nord uh, is offering an antivirus. So that's kind of something to think about. So overall, it kind of depends on what you're specifically looking for. You know, if you're looking for something like a, a VPN that comes with a password manager, um, I would say that NordPass is probably one of the better ones from one of the VPNs if you're looking for a password manager. Um, if you're looking for encrypted email, Proton is an excellent choice. However, Surfshark is my personal favorite because it includes Incogni, which I think is one of the more useful side products that they offer so guys i'll be putting some links in the description down below whether you want to check out surfshark's deal on uh surfshark one plus or if you got uh, kind of interested in proton and nord i also have some links for them as well down below that should get you any possible discounts going on right now anyways guys thanks for checking out this video and i'll see you again very soon